fuck, it's a long one. Everyone's taste in music revol. Uh, sorry. Everyone's taste in music evolves over the years and is influenced by our moods and life. Um, when you look back 10 years, what musical taste did you have? Is it the same now or has it evolved because you've evolved? Right, let's go back further than 10 years. So um, I'm a few months short of 33. Um, when I was in school, talking... Correct me if I'm wrong. If you're one of my friends and you know me, I might be wrong with the age. It might it was 13, 14, somewhere, 13, 14, 15. Um, I had a group of friends who started getting into rock music before I, um, you know, with the hair colours, the baggy jeans, the hoodies, the chains, you know, fucking hell. And I, I used to love it. I used to love it because when I was growing up, I didn't know what music was really because... It just genuinely didn't interest me. You know, so you could have asked me when I was a kid, what's your favourite song? I couldn't tell you because it just genuinely didn't interest me. You know, the, the only music I sort of heard growing up was what my mum had on in the house when we were kids, you know, like the 90s music and a little bit further back than that. But um, for me to develop my own musical taste, um, I guess, if any of you remember when Sky Digital um, landed in everybody's homes in the UK, um we had a program, it was it a TV channel called Q and Kerrang and stuff like that. I think it was just before Kerrang came out. Uh, you had Slipknot, Wait and Bleed. You had Linkin Park, One Step Closer. You know, you had all these bands, Metallica, Iron Maiden, Papa Roach, Sum 41, Alien Amp Farm, all these fucking sick, fucking amazing bands. And it was, it was, it was during the time when new metal, new metal was a thing. Um, a lot of people think that era was a bit of a joke, but for me personally, it was one of the best, and I'm sure a lot of other people would agree and disagree with that. But the first time I discovered music that really called to me was when I was watching TV when we finally got the remote, you know, because it was a fight for the remote because everybody wanted to play Bee Beehive Bedlam on fucking Sky Games. Um, during my time on the TV, I would watch the music channels, I'd scroll through, I didn't really, didn't interest me much, but, you know, I used to find some of the music videos, you know, with some of these girls with half their clothes off, quite interesting, you know, because being a, a young teenager, full of spunk, still a virgin, you're thinking, fucking hell, whoa, what's going on here, you know what I mean? Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> but anyway, in all seriousness, uh, the first time I discovered music that appealed to me, it would be definitely 100% Linkin Park, One Step Closer. You know, Chester Bennington, God Rest His Soul. The bleach blonde hair, the tattoos, the piercings, the screaming, the singing. Fuck me. It was like something, it was like nothing I'd ever heard before. So unique in its own way. You had rapping, you had guitars, you had, you know, your drums, you had these sound effects and the DJ and all that. Fucking amazing. And I remember the first time I seen it and I just thought, wow, this is fucking awesome. Like that was the first time I ever looked at a band or a piece of music and thought, you were made for me. Where have you been all my life? You know, basically. So as I got into music, um, I, I typically found bands that other people liked, you know, pretty good. Everybody liked the same bands and stuff. You know, you had people who would drift off into different styles you know we had some people would be who would be more into the new metal then you'd have friends of mine who'd be more gothy you'd have friends of mine that would be you know deftones and all those kind of bands and stuff but uh i guess for me i i i, had, I hit the emo phase when that came out um, i'm ashamed to admit it sort of because it's a bit cringy looking back but at the time it was a fucking great movement for music even though it was very short-lived and a lot of people are trying to get it back now. I just say fucking leave it where it was, you know what I mean? It's it, it's been, it's gone, leave it where it fucking is, you know what I mean? So I would definitely say that my music taste over the last 10, 15, 16 years um, has definitely evolved. Um, I'm into heavier music now. Um, and I also, because of times in my life, have fallen into acoustic music. I've, I love Boyce Avenue. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. They're a great fucking band, great cover band. 
to cover pretty much everything. You know, even even guilty pleasure pop songs, they make they turn it into their own songs and they sound amazing and he's got a great voice. And it's just fantastic. So um I think that the, the one album um that really, really, really kept me alive during the worst period of my life would probably be Disarm the Descent by Kill Switch Engage. I don't know if you've heard it. It is fucking brilliant. It's a great album. It just kept me alive. All the lyrics, the music, the feel. It just brought me back to life and it kept me warm when my soul was cold. It was just... It lit the fire in my soul. It was just one of those albums. It was just like, fuck. You know, Jesus. Because we all have albums that do that for us. Uh, Disarm the Descent, Kill Switch Engage. If you haven't heard it, fucking check it out because it is amazing. And also check out the next couple of albums that have released since because they're just banger after banger after banger. And I can't complain. They're, they're easily one of the best bands out there. Um, and I'm sure, like I say, many people would agree. Um, I've definitely evolved uh, musically because there's a lot of bands I, I used to like that I don't really like anymore, not only because they've changed and they've, you know, they've just changed. Like, here's a perfect example, Asking Alexandria. I used to really like them uh, back when Danny was in the band at the start, before he left. He came back and the style changed and stuff. So I evolved away from some of my favourite bands um, and some of my favourite bands evolved away from me, but that's just how it is, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? We all adapt with time and change and, and everything else. But, um, yeah, definitely my, my music taste has evolved. I'm into heavier stuff. Uh, I concentrate more on uh, guitars more than anything. Guitars is my thing. Um, I like drums. I don't play drums, but I really, truly, really, really appreciate drums. Amazing. I fucking love drums. I really wish I'd have learnt to play drums uh, when I had the chance, not to say that it's too late now, but you know, I'm missing 16 years worth of experience. I could have been shit up by now, but never mind. So, in regards to that question, uh, my music taste now is very different. Um, I still listen to the same bands. I'm very sort of when it comes to new bands and stuff, it's got to impress me. It's got to it's got to tick boxes that you know very specific i like vocal harmonies guitar harmonies fast drums just a meaningful package with a fat breakdown and all these kind of things most definitely so yeah definitely evolved